Welcome Pisces. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. Very quickly, you're coming out. One's landed on the floor, of course. One more card for Pisces. We're using Soul Truth cards here. Two cards. I want one more card, please, for Pisces. There it is. Okay, let me just pick this up. Okay, Pisces, the first card we have here is what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? Am I communicating my needs? And am I in my head or my heart? Okay, so the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Okay, so the action to take here is be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing, and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Mm, I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so tell me more about this for Pisces, please. It's quite a, um, there's so many aspects to that card, actually. It's not, yeah, lots of aspects. Okay, so the magician in the mirror. The magician and the mirror. I like this. It's really about what it is that you can create that is like this everlasting impact, I suppose. Not impact. Not impact because that's external. It's about this internal thing. The impact is on your Evolvement is a soul. Yeah, which, yeah, that makes total sense, right? Because when it's talking about peace as a home for our soul. Then that makes total sense. Why it would be the evolvement of the soul. Wow, that went in an interesting direction. Let's have a look further at... Uh, the magician and the mirror. Mm. Mm. Yep. Great big love, right? Great big love. This is it. When we're talking about expectations as well, there's not there's not peace around that. There's not love around that. There's demand, right? There's demand. So in that regard, I feel like the magician in the mirror is this truth because we've got ears wide open and this is about listening, really listening intently as to what's going on within here because this I feel like is focusing on more within than without and this is where the focus needs to be within here hey interesting okay walking away walking away what are you walking away from here Disappointment, expectation, right? Walking away from that. Tell me more about this walking away for her, Pisces, please. Walking away. Walking away, tell me more. One more cut. In perfect harmony, a merry motive. See, this is about this truth. This is about this truth of your soul. 
So often we do things in our life that is um, because of expectations. Expectations of others, expectations of ourself, um, what we feel we should do, um, you know, and it's all conditioned, everything. It's all conditioned. You know, it's not necessarily what we want to be doing. If we had have been, um, from the time we entered this earth, if we had have been um, nurtured um, to, to express ourselves authentically, we would have been shaped in a whole different way. So although it may feel like people are living their lives authentically, it's not really because it's still a, a somewhat of a conditioning. Yeah. Um, I want to say the expression, the expression, which is what I feel like this imperfect harmony is, even that expression is learned. Learned from external sources we hear something that resonates with us and we repeat it it's not our own right so this is this authentic expression i feel yeah um yeah we have a merry motive as well and i love this because this i feel like is this um expression being shone upon um mm. coming up with your own way of expressing i suppose it's kind of like and do you know what not just that but hanging it up to dry and seeing if it still glows in a sense like you know you can't, can't say I'm living my authentic life and then not be honest. You can't say I'm living my um, authentic life and be repeating just what everyone else repeats. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's this authenticity is true authenticity. You know, you can't have a, a crystal, a clear quartz crystal, trying to be an amethyst you know it's inauthentic so yeah anyway and am i communicating my needs your needs matter what are you needing right now what haven't you communicated what are you afraid of is it possible that what you are fearing is not true okay so the action to take journal these answers what are my needs Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter? And do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs, right? This is it, you know? If there's anything that you feel like you can't speak about or you can't um, oh, put it this way, put it this way. If there's anything that you have to do without... Uh, in silence or uh, that you don't want other people to see or know about like you're just kind of like going about your business without oh I don't really want to tell people that because what will they think um, then you're not really expressing who you truly are and so your needs of maybe being accepted or maybe you know just um, not being judged or whatever and not being met because you're having to hide a part of yourself that isn't um, uh, 
you're having to hide a part of yourself that isn't having it, its needs met. Yeah. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is your heart chakra. Interesting. And then we have Healer of the Ages, and I feel like it's appropriate to bring these up together because it's the heart that needs healing. Because this is about the needs, right? This is about expressing the needs. I'm surprised the um, throat chakra hasn't come up. The fifth chakra here. But that's okay because it's the heart, obviously, the heart, right? And when we've got this card here, because the heart came up before, didn't it? With the great big love, yeah? And we've got... What is it? Am I in my head or my heart? Yeah, so that yeah, that makes sense. Okay, right. So tell me more about the fourth chakra here. For Pisces, please. Got too many cards. Far too many cards. One more card for Pisces. Okay, waking the lion. Here we go. This is this is this inner strength. Okay. This is the, this is this internal power that doesn't need to be necessarily, look, put it this way, the presence of the lion can be felt without the sound of its roar. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's all I need to say about that. The storyteller. The storyteller, this is about writing a new chapter of this book here. Okay. And telling it in a whole different way. Uh, uh, telling it in, in um, potentially from a heart and potentially from a place of what I need rather than um, roaring and I don't mean that as in roaring, as in anger. I mean that as in just having to be heard. It's it's it goes deeper than that. Yeah, it goes deeper than that, right? Um, and this is a healing thing, right? It's a healing thing. Tell me about Healer of the Ages. Okay, we've got the call of the muse and seeing beyond. Yeah. And this is, I feel like, seeing how that, how that power emanates without the noise. It's like when you, when you look at writing a story, right? Reading a book, there's no noise. Right? You're reading it generally in your mind, unless you're reading the words out loud, but they're, they're not your words. <clears throat> and so, in that regard, you know, by writing the book, you're expressing your knowledge, not someone else's. And this is the, I feel like this is really important here. This is to take things from you, not from everywhere else, from you. Right, because your needs are only based on you, they're not based on what you've learned, what you know, what anyone else says. Right, they're about you, so yeah, right, which is this truth here. Right, the lion here, look at this power here. The lion makes no noise, the lion makes no noise. Am I in my head or my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. When your head meets your heart is where, where miracles happen. The action to take is today master your mind, watch an inspiring video, do some tapping, read an empowering book 
or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. I love that because when we've got the storyteller here, right, that's, um, yeah, that's really cool. So what, what does that chapter look like, right? And if that chapter was to be written with the thoughts running around in your mind, what would that look like? So this is really, really being honest with yourself, okay? Okay, yeah, being honest with yourself, right? Because here we have storm warning. We have a storm warning. There's a shake up, a massive shake up here. Okay. Okay, into me I see, right? Into me I see. This is about you and your needs here, Pisces. And you know what? When you come in with those, you know, there's going to be potentially people who don't like it, you know. And we've also got a grand symphony here, okay. Because after the storm, right, everything settles and there's this new beginning, okay. And this is where the grand symphony is able to play okay this is where you are able to truly be you we have the angel of strength here and it's going to take strength for you to do what you need to do yes it's going to take strength we've got the lion here too right but isn't it better isn't it better to go like because i feel like what's been happening here is there's been this avoidance of the storm Avoiding the storm from hitting, right? And it's like this tornado here, right? It swirls around and around and around. And so far you've managed to, to avoid getting sucked up into the eye of this. But it's going to hit. It's going to hit at some point. So how long can you keep dancing around that? Because at the end of the day, the truth always comes out, right? Right? So how long can you keep dancing around the truth of you, of your soul? How long can you keep avoiding that, you know? Tell me more about Angel of Strength. Yeah. See, we've got Awakening and Genius here and earth magic yeah see this just is like it's it's sort of like this authentic um natural state of being like the the storm has to happen the storm has to happen in order for this to come out it has to happen right and this is what you have here to support you the angel of strength so when this is here, when this is, you know, maybe you're in it now. Who knows, right? Call on this angel of strength to help you connect with the earth, okay? Because grounding yourself is going to be absolutely necessary. Uh, but the thing is, I think that's what uh, is the most important thing for you to focus on. Is this ability for you to be able to then live your true self your true authentic self live in that right because when there's this constant trying to be another way that you don't want to be there's this need to have to hide parts of yourself and that's not what we've come here to do not at all okay so yeah um yeah i'm gonna leave that with you pisces take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye